Hey guys, so today I'm going to go through and show you some basic quick fixes for your task competition entries. Something that could have saved pretty much everyone from all of the DQs in the task competition up until this point. Now the biggest problem is A presses, considering it is an A press competition. All competition tasks so far have had A presses, which means it's very easy to accidentally let go or to do too many. So I'm going to show you how to check and essentially fix any problems you might encounter. So the first thing you do is you open up Stroop. In this window you've got an open button over on the left side. You click on that and then you click on your task. Now Default, it is open like this. You've got your inputs window to the right and you've got all your controls to the left. First thing you want to do is check your stats, which is a window over here. You might have seen it have open before. It tells you all of the stats and inputs for that file. So the most important one we're going to be looking at is the number of A presses. As you can see, I've only got one, thankfully. But what if it says more? What if it says 7 or 35 or 2? How do you know where they are? Well, you can right click and you can click show all A presses. Once you open that, a dialog box will appear. You can resize that. And it will tell you every frame that an A press is pressed. So the first A press is from frame 276 to frame 646. You should note that this is input frames and not VIs. And likewise, if there was more A presses, more would appear. So for example, if I went back to the inputs menu and I pressed a whole bunch of A presses just in this range here, just like this, I just click all of these ones. So this is one more A press from the second frame or third frame if you want to you know count it that way down to this one down here and what you can do now is you can go to stats and you can see it says two so if i right click on number of a presses and click show all a presses you can see now there are two a presses the first being from frame two to eight and the third second from being 276 to 646 so let's say that there's only meant to be one a press there's meant to be no difference between these two. They're meant to be the same A press. Well, that would mean that in the inputs, everything after here, after this one onwards, isn't meant to be let go. So this is where the quick fix solution comes in. All you have to do is find the frame that you are last not holding, which is down here. So I've already clicked the first one. Shift, click, and it highlights all of the, all of the range in between, just like such. Then you come over and you click turn on input range. Simply it turns everything on. Now this is important because say for example, you are doing a task. Let's say for example, you're doing a task and you do a backflip. Now let's say you needed to hold that A button in, but as you can see, I've let go of the A button. I can't press it again because it's going to create an A press or I could. What I can do is I can press B to dive recover as if I would and I would essentially pretend I've got the A button pressed in. So I would dive recover and now that I'm in the air the A button does nothing. So I can press the A button now, continue my task, save it, come into Stroop and fill in those blank A press slots. That's basically how you would fix it which is very important to know because the clear button it's very easy to accidentally press or to intentionally press and accidentally forget to repress the A button before continuing your task. That is all, and I hope everyone can use this in their future task submissions. I hope to see a lot less DQs. It is very easy to accidentally forget to change your A presses from being off to on. But other than that, there's nothing really else I wanted to talk about. I did mention prior that you can check your coins and such in the HUD menu. You can see your coin counter and your... Sorry, your coin count and your red coin count. As you can see, coin count is 8, red coin is 0. Saves a little bit of time if you don't want to go into the in-game menu. But anyway, that is everything I wanted to discuss and hopefully show you guys so that you can fix future entries. Good luck, and I can't wait to see what you guys can pull off.